If you want to use an Arduino as a native MIDI device, Mokalufa is probably the best way to do so. Mokalufa takes advantage of the Arduino Uno serial bridge, which if you look closely, closely, is just another microprocessor, an Atmega16U2. Once you reflash its firmware, you can use your Arduino as both a class compliant MIDI device and a normal Arduino. I'll show you how to set it up in macOS Linux and Windows. For macOS, I recommend installing Homebrew. It's a great little package manager that'll uh, make this pretty easy for us. After copying the install line, go ahead and open the terminal and uh, paste it in. It'll ask you for your password. When you enter your password, you won't actually see the characters, but uh, it's still accepting the input. If it asks you to install Xcode, just go ahead and hit enter and wait for all that stuff to download. It's at this point that you should have your Arduino plugged in. We'll be using it in a second. As I mentioned earlier, Brew is a package manager, so let's download some packages. The first one we're going to download is called DFU Programmer. It's what's going to allow us to actually flash the chip. To install it with Homebrew, all you have to do is type Brew, Install, and the name of the package. In this case, DFU Programmer. Let's also install LSUSB. It's a quick way to list all the USB devices. If you just run LSUSB, you should see your Arduino Uno show up as something like that. In order to reflash the chip, we have to reset the serial bridge, the Atmega16U2, into DFU mode. You can do that with the two pins here on the Arduino. Once you short those and use LSUSB again, you should see that it shows up as something different, hopefully something like Atmel. Now let's actually download the Mokalufa firmware. To do that, go to the Mokalufa GitHub and download the whole thing as a zip, then open it up grab the hex folder, and extract the dualmoco.hex file. Uh, I think putting it on the desktop will be the best for now. So now we've got the file, but how do we navigate to it in the terminal? Well, something that can help us is the ls command. It stands for list, and it will tell you everything that's in the current folder. Well, it looks like we're in the home folder, or whatever it is in macOS. We can see documents, desktop, to navigate to another folder, we can use the cd command or change directory. We just extracted the file to the desktop, so let's go there. Now, if you type ls, you can see that our dualmoco.hex file is right there. Now we can actually execute the commands that will flash the firmware. We'll begin all these lines with sudo, which will give us root permissions. Then we'll type in dfu programmer and at mega16u2, which is the processor. For the first one, we'll simply erase. Next, instead of erase, we'll say flash, and we'll follow that up with the name of the file, in our case, dualmoco.hex. Then you just reset. Once it's reset, all you have to do is unplug it and plug it back in. And you should be good to go. LSUSB should reveal it as some sort of Mokolufa related device. By default with the Mokolufa firmware, the Arduino will operate as a class compliant MIDI device, meaning that uh, your Arduino IDE won't actually be able to see it. In order to start it up in Arduino mode, all you have to do is bridge these two pins. The best way to do it is something like with this little bridge. These often come with those breadboard power supplies or other gadgets. Just to test with LSUSB, it shows up as an Arduino. Whenever you want to switch modes, you have to remember to actually unplug and plug it back in. In Linux, the process is much the same. We'll download the repository, extract the hex file to the desktop, Except this time, we have a built-in package manager, at least with most distros. In Ubuntu, of course, it's apt, so we'll type in sudo apt install dfu programmer. Then we'll navigate to the desktop, and we'll execute the same three commands as in macOS. The output might be a little bit different between operating systems, depending on 
whatever version of DFU programmer is actually in the package manager. In Windows, it's a bit more difficult. We don't have a package manager, so instead we'll have to download a pre-compiled binary directly. In Windows, this would be a, an exe file. After downloading the Windows zip, go ahead and just extract the exe, put it on the desktop. Then we'll do the same thing, download the Mocha Lufa repository and extract the hex file. In Windows, the easiest way to open the command prompt is uh, typing the Windows key in R and then typing in command. We'll navigate to the desktop. And since the executable is just right there, we can execute it as if we had installed it, at least in this directory. You can type in help to see if uh, it actually worked. We'll then go through the same process as with the other operating systems. Just to show that it really is class compliant, if you open any DAW and you have it in MIDI mode, you should see right away that it shows up as an input or output. If you want to reset it, the process is essentially the same, except instead of uh, using the dual Moco hex, we'll download uh, the original hex file directly from Arduino. Make sure you remember to set up the Arduino into DFU mode. All the links for everything is down in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. My people will be with you shortly.